Today we're going to read a story called Silverlicious. It's like Pinkalicious, except it's the color silver. Do you know what silver is? It's like this sparkly gray color, right? That's silver, okay? Pinkalicious is on the front cover, but I don't know why the title is Silverlicious. We're going to find out. On the front cover, we see Pinkalicious. She has her crown. Oh, she's, look, she's got an envelope. I wonder what's in there. She's got a magic wand. On the front cover, there's a name that says Victoria Khan. She's the author, and that's, there's only one name, so that means she's the illustrator, too. On the back cover, it tells us a little bit about the story. It says, when Pinkalicious has a loose tooth, it's not just any tooth. It's her sweet tooth. Suddenly, candy no longer tastes sweet. With her pink-tastic pen, Pinkalicious writes a note to the tooth fairy and tucks it under her pillow. Maybe that's what's in the envelope. Only to hear from Cupid. Cupid's from Easter, remember? He's a little angel boy that shoots arrows at people. And the Easter bunny. And a Christmas elf instead. It is not until the tooth fairy finally responds and works some magic that Pinkalicious discovers where sweetness really comes from. Fairy tale characters and sparkling scenes make Silverlicious a sweet treat for all. Ooh, I'm excited to read this. All right. What part of the book is this called? The Spine, right? And sometimes, look, the title's there. It's really teeny tiny. Can you see it? Ooh, ooh. Okay. That way when it's on the shelf, right, and I'm looking for Silverlicious, I can read the title right here on the spine without taking the whole book out. Okay. All right. Silverlicious. Silverlicious. Wow. It says, thank you. Okay. I had a wiggly tooth. It had been wiggling for days. What's these pictures behind her? A calendars, right? I wiggled my tooth at breakfast and I wiggled it at lunch. At snack time, I saw that Peter was eating chocolate, chocolicious cookies. I grabbed it and I took a big bite. Look, my tooth came out. Yay, I said. But something was wrong. Oh no, Mommy, it wasn't just any tooth. It was my sweet tooth. This cookie has no flavor. It tastes like dirt. Oh dear, you lost your sweet tooth, asked Mommy. How dreadful, said Daddy. That's what you get for stealing my cookie, said Peter, sniffling. What am I going to do without my sweet tooth? So, if you like to eat a lot of candy and cookies and chocolate and yummy, yummy, sweet stuff, then sometimes people say you have a sweet tooth, okay? Because all that stuff has sugar, which makes it sweet. So, Pinkalicious, she, she, she said she lost her sweet tooth, right? And her brother's crying because she stole his cookie. That's not nice. I know. I grabbed my pink tastic pen and I started to write. Dear Tooth Fairy, today my sweet tooth came out. What should I do? Could you please send me something sweet to eat until a new tooth grows in? Loves, Pinkalicious. I tucked the note under my pillow with my tooth, and I kept one eye open all night. I had always wanted to know exactly what the Tooth Fairy looked like. Tonight, I would see her. Does the Tooth Fairy come if you're not sleeping? No, you have to be asleep, right? <gasps> There's hearts everywhere. What holiday is that from? Valentine's Day. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I must have fallen asleep. I looked for my tooth, but it was gone. And in its place were three red candy hearts and a note. Dearest Pinkalicious, how art thou? Toothatina, your personal tooth fairy, was busy last night. Unfortunately, a girl in New Zealand was having her molars out. Toothatina had to fly there to help her. It takes a long time for a tooth fairy to fly because her wings are so small. Toothatina asked me to help you. I hope you don't mind. Forever yours, Carlos Cupid. Peter, come quick, I shouted. Cupid was here. Did you see him? Did you? Did you? asked Peter. No, I missed him. I guess I fell asleep. Look, he left me candy. I put a couple of the red hearts in my mouth. Eek! The, those are red hots. My mouth is burning, I yelled. They taste like coal, right? The spicy red candy. Yum! They taste great to me, said Peter. And look at the hearts in your room. Cupid must really like you. Cupid loves everybody. Where's my tooth fairy? I want my tooth fairy, I said, 
stopping my foot, just throwing a fit. My plan was to stay awake all night long so I could take a picture of Cupid to show my class. I had my camera ready and I wrote another note. Dear Carlos Cupid, thank you so much for the Red Hots. Unfortunately, they were disgusting. I would prefer to have something sweet. Love, Pinkalicious. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I had fallen asleep again. I looked for my note. It was gone. In its place were three jelly beans and a new note. Who came? Easter Bunny? Dearest Pinkalicious, egg, excuse me? The candy wasn't sweet enough for you? Poor Carlos Cupid. His heart was broken last night when he read your letter saying that you didn't like his candy. He asked me to help you. Normally at this time of year, I am having an extravagant vacation, an exciting Ecuador. But I decided perhaps I might be able to help you. Please enjoy the jelly beans. Kind regards, Edgar Easter Bunny. P.S. To the Tina is in India helping an elephant with a tusk take, a tusk ache. So those elephants have those giant teeth. Those are called tusks. Or like, okay? So he said he's got a tusk ache. Wow, look at her bedroom. When I tasted the jelly beans, they felt like little pebbles. Those are like little rocks. Little pebbles in my mouth. Yuck, I said, spitting them out. These jelly beans taste awful. And look at the footprints the bunny left around my room, I complained. A little, little boop, boop, boop. I don't see anything wrong with it at all, said Peter. Looks like he left eggs everywhere. He grabbed a basket and started to collect as many as he could. Where is Toothatina, I wondered. That night, I wrote another note. I had my camera ready, plus a net so I could catch that bunny if he had the nerve to hop around my room again. I would definitely stay awake tonight. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, thank you so much for the eggs. Unfortunately, I lost my sweet tooth, so the jelly beans had no flavor. Could you please, please ask Toothatina to come and leave me something sweet? Love, Pinkalicious. Uh-oh, what holiday is it now? Christmas. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I fell asleep again. This time, I found three tiny candy canes and a note. Dear Pinkalicious, I am so happy that I got a break from all the toys I have to make morning, noon, and night. Being a tooth fairy is a much better job. To the Tina had to fly to Japan to celebrate with a little boy who was finally getting his braces off. She asked me to help out. Have a very merry day, elf number 35. I licked a candy cane. Gross! It tasted just like hard toothpaste. What a mess. There was snow everywhere. Do you think he left some toys here too, asked Peter. You sure are lucky. When I lose a tooth, I just get a few coins under my pillow. But I wanted something sweet from the tooth fairy. Something that would taste good until my new sweet tooth grows in. I want Toothatina. That night, I was ready. Dear Elf number 35. Oh, it says 351. Maybe I read the other side page wrong. Let me check. Yes, 351. That's a lot of elves. Not 35. Dear Elf number 351. Thank you so much for the candy canes. Unfortunately, they tasted bad. Could you please, please, pretty please with sugar plum favoring, flavoring on top, ask Toothatina to come and leave me something sweet? Perhaps she's the only one who can help me out. Pinkalicious Pinkerton. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I slept right through it. When I finally woke up, I found nothing. My note was gone, but there was nothing else. I was so disappointed. Nothing from Cupid, the Easter Bunny, or even elf number 351. Then I noticed a teeny weeny slip of paper under my chair and three silver coins. Dear Pinkalicious, sweetness comes from the inside. When you are sweet, the world and all the delicious things in it will be sweet too. With love, Toothatina. 
P.S. Don't forget to brush and flush after every meal. What does that mean? Sweetness is inside you. It means if you're nice, right, people will be nice to you too, right? It says, if you, when you're sweet, the world and all the delicious things in it will be sweet too. So because she wasn't being very nice to Cupid or the Easter Bunny or the elves, right? She's like, I don't want this. I want to the Tina, right? And so all her candy tasted yucky to her because she wasn't being sweet, right? When you're sweet, then everything around you is sweet too. Huh? What does that mean, I wondered. Hadn't I been sweet? Maybe I wasn't sweet when I bit into Peter's chocolicious cookie or stomped my feet or spit out the candy. Maybe I could have been sweeter to Cupid, the Easter Bunny, and elf number 351. I was really very lucky that they came and visited me. I wrote a new note. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, Carlos Cupid, elf number 351, and Tutatina, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to visit me and for leaving me red hots, jelly beans, candy canes, and three silver coins. I am sorry if I wasn't grateful. You made my room look beautiful and you are welcome to visit me anytime. Love, Pinkalicious. P.S. I want you all to come back soon. And it says from Peter, right? Do you think Peter liked it when they all came? Yeah. I folded up it, I folded it up for later and I began to feel much better. Hey, Pinkalicious, did you know that the silver coins are actually made out of chocolate? Asked Peter, stealing the coins out of my hand and running around the room. Peter, you can have the chocolates because you are you are usually such a nice brother, I said sweetly. Huh? Um, I don't want them. You can have them back. I'm sorry I took them, Peter said, handing them back to me. Is she being sweet now? Yeah, right? She wrote a letter to all the, the people, like the Easter Bunny and the and Cupid and the Elf, and she's sharing her chocolate with Peter. How about if we share, I said, tasting a chocolate coin? Yummy, it's so delicious. I can taste sweet things again. Hooray! From now on, I am always going to be as sweet as my sweet tooth. The end. So why is the book called Silverlicious? At the end, what did she get from the tooth from Toothatina? She got silver coins, right? But were they really coins? They're chocolate candy.